Kansas coach Bill Self is with us now. And after Coach Self makes himself comfortable, we'll ask him to start us off with some general comments about his team. Well, it's good to be here again. It's uh, obviously just right around the corner, and and we're uh, we're very excited about uh, this year's group. It's young, uh, inexperienced, uh, uh, but I think pretty talented, and and certainly one that uh, you know hopefully by January we'd have a chance to play at a, a high enough level that we can compete for what uh, uh, compete for a, a, a title in a league that's that's been as good or better than any league in the country. So uh, it'll be a stiff challenge, but certainly one we're all looking forward to and can't wait to get started. OK, I'm sure we've got questions. If you raise your hand, we'll get a microphone to you. We'll start off over here to the right. Coach. Hey, Bill. Uh, Blair Kirkhoff with the Kansas City Star. And speaking of uh, speaking of the league, yeah. you know, the Big 12 has had a lot of success in so many areas, you know, computer rankings and, you know, draft picks and regular season success, but what are the rings for this league over the last couple of years and three straight years in the title game? How does that elevate the status of the Big 12? Well, I, I think uh, it, it's hard to say that you're the best if you don't actually produce it when it counts the most. And so, uh, you know, we've been like the RPI or the net, I think we've been the, the top league in the country, six of the last seven, something like that. And, and you know, Five of those years, we didn't have anything to show for it. So uh, at the end of the day, so I, I do think it it means a lot. Uh, I know with us personally, you know, we've had we've had a, a large number of very good teams that that basically uh, uh, had was in the game and had a possibility of of uh, winning a national championship and didn't get it done. So for us, I think. We, we owed it not only to our school, but also to our league to actually deliver on those uh, uh, opportunities. And we were able to do so this year. And of course, Baylor was able to do so last year. So I think, it, and Tech came a jump shot away from doing it uh, in the prior tournament. So I, I think those type of uh, uh, finishes are what elevates a league to being thought of to be really, really good regular season, but to, can be thought of to being the best uh, uh, overall. Coach on the back row and to the left. Hey, Coach. Mason Horodisky with KMAC and KLBK back in Lubbock, Texas. Can you walk us through what it was like recruiting Kevin McCuller through the transfer portal this season and how big of an addition that was considering his, his success in the Big 12 already? Yeah, Kevin fit us perfectly. We thought, uh, you know, he's versatile. He can, you know, play point. He can play four. You know, uh, we, we think he was a a great uh, gift for us, and he's been so well coached, you know, by Chris and by Mark, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, it was good. It, it's it's a weird time now, you know. Uh, I don't know how many players transferred within the league this past year, uh, and it's one that you could say uh, maybe could upset a school when they leave to go compete against them at the next school. But I mean, we 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 got to. Face it, it's the way of the world. It is. You know, we had a youngster go to Oklahoma State uh, two years ago, and and you know we don't wish any ill will on him. We hope he does well, just not at our expense. And I, I would think Tech would feel the same about Kevin because he's a marvelous young man. And and uh, but but uh, he he became a very very uh, pr a high priority for us when he became available because I just love his versatility and I think he fits us perfectly. More questions for Coach Self? Coach, we're going to have one for you in the middle, uh, about the third row back. Coach, Sam Lance with Zags Blog. It was reported sometime last week that the NBA might be changing the draft uh, age back to 18. What are just your thoughts on that, and how will it affect recruiting? Well, it'll certainly affect recruiting, but I'm not sure it'll affect the majority of us recruiting. I mean, we we haven't recruited, uh, uh, you know, very many one and dones uh, of late. I guess Josh was the last one, uh, but you know, uh, we kind of we we've done a, a really nice job recruiting. But over time, in the 20 years we've been here, you know, we've recruited I think nine one and dones, uh, which is still a high number, but it's not like we're 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 recruiting to live off of those guys to to uh, you know 
be our leading scorer and re leading rebounder their freshman year. So I don't know that it'll affect us a ton. I, I think obviously the best programs will still get the best guys. Uh, hardest workers will still get the best guys. Uh, but the, but being able to evaluate and project will be more important now than ever because it's not as hard to evaluate and project the number one pick's going to be a really good player for your program. But you get past those top 10 or 12 or whatever guys there is, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot more about development, uh, at least with those type of guys and maybe what it has been here recently. Coach, we've got one for you on the television platform. Um, PJ Green, Fox 4 here in KC. Um, any, any, any young guys you're going to be dependent on besides the, you know, the big three that you have here today? Well, yeah, I mean, I brought my vets today. Jalen's a sophomore and Kevin's a junior and Juan's a sophomore, I guess, by COVID and uh, new eligibility rules. But, but uh, you know, we signed four freshmen. Uh, Zuby was probably the, the most unheralded one, but he's going to be a terrific player. He's got balance. He's 6'8 and got a body. And, and uh, you know, he's just time away. And and then uh, uh, Ernest is 6'10". He's a rim runner. And, you know, uh, uh, really good lob catcher, defender. I, th I think he's got a chance to be a special guy. Uh, MJ Rice is, you know, kind of a young Wayne Selton type. Uh, and Wayne was a terrific player for us. He, uh, hopefully MJ can, can become a reactor instead of thinker because he's thinking too much now. But, but uh, he's going to be a great player. And then Grady Dick has been everything we thought he would be thus far. You know, he's got a high release. And at six foot eight, he can... He's got a he can he can get a shot off and, and certainly can really shoot the basketball. So we'll depend on all those guys and all of them will play. Uh, uh, but right now, I'd say Grady probably has the biggest chance to have a huge impact early. But uh, all of them will see action. Any other questions for Coach Self? Oh, over here to the uh, your right, Coach. Hey, Coach uh, Jackson Schneider, KSAL and Salina. Uh, You've got a roster full of players now that gained invaluable experience with the national championship run, and you add in a player in Kevin McCuller who's also been on that stage as well. Mm -hmm. What does that experience do in terms of setting the bar for success for the younger players that you have on your roster and what that can do moving your program forward? Well, I think, you know, in a perfect world, you want your foundation to be your older guys, but maybe your most talented kids to be your younger guys. I mean, it's in a kind of a perfect world. and. And uh, we, we've got a situation where, you know, uh, uh, we're returning two that have been on the biggest stage and have a, a ton of experience and, and, and a transfer that's also been on the big stage, even though at Tech. Uh, but other than that, we're, we're really, really young. I mean, we've got guys that were contributors last year that now have to become major contributors this year. Uh, uh, and it's going to be a different role for everybody. but. You know, I, I, I like it. I think that I think we had unbelievable leadership last year, and I think that those three, and, and primarily Juan and, and, and Jalen, I think they can they can become, you know, some of the more elite leaders that we've ever had there. So uh, uh, I'm I'm excited about it. I I think our youngsters need to be good, but our vets need to be really good to make sure our youngsters are good. And 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 uh, I think they have the 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 right makeup. And the and the the unselfishness in order to do that. Okay. Stay on schedule. We've got time for one more question. I think we've got one on the television platform. Okay. Nope. Rachel, did you have one? Christopher? Nope. Okay, coach. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.